Maybe you've moved on from Wizard Rock or Time Lord Rock and you're looking for something fresh. So whether you call it Tribute Rock or Rocking Jay, there's now a really good chance that The Hunger Games is a healthier music scene than your hometown. When we talk about fan-created music, whether the subject is Doctor Who or Draco Malfoy, we're talking about Filk, literally originating from a typo when someone was trying to write about science fiction and folk music. Filk took hold with the rise of sci-fi fandom and sci-fi conventions, powered by the Futurians. The Futurians counted future Hugo Award winners, Weird Tales contributors, and Isaac Asimov amongst their ranks. The left-leaning offshoot of the Greater New York Science Fiction Club, they hung out at the sci-fi conventions that were just starting to pop up at the end of the 30s, and they wrote sci-fi-tinged protest songs to fill the late and boozy nights. Hungover barbarian, you must beware of him, he's certainly not himself today. It was in the 50s that Filk got its name, a typo from an article about science fiction culture and modern folk music. By the 70s, it was an established part of convention culture. Filking had its own awards, Filking had its own cons, Filking had a hall of fame. And then Filking went to Hogwarts. Harry and the Potters were the first wizard rock or rock band. They inspired a legion of new filk music that was wholly Potter-centric, from Draco and the Malfoys to the Remus Lupins. We cut through the sky like and of course, the popularity of rock inspired an entire trend of fandom-specific filk, like Troc. What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Noise, and this is a Time Lord rock song called Onward. Time Lord Rock is, of course, Whovian themed power jams. The other track is Tribute Rock, which is just music about the Hunger Games. And appropriately enough, this guy oh. is one of the genre's biggest names. That's Alex Carpenter. He is great at writing filk songs and not very good at lighting his guitar on fire. But Carpenter is hardly alone in his tribute to the book and movie. Dubbed Rocking Jay, since Troc was technically taken by the Whovians already, artists like All Caps are dropping major jams all about your favorite dystopian sci-fi child murdering saga. When I'm with you, I want to kill you. Peter, stop, they've really messed you up. Oh shit. much nicer. That's Steph Anderson. She seems not very murderous at all. Just like other nice folks like District 13 and Sam Cushion, who actually wrote a series of scores for The Hunger Games, including a beautiful orchestral version of Rue's Lullaby, a song that appears in the book that tons of people have adapted with their own melodies online. Ah. Ooh, I want to kill you. Oh. Do you filk? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to Ox for more This Exists every week. We've got links to all the videos we've used plus a few other Rocking J jams in the description. And may the odds be ever in your favor.